Meta Ba suffers from chronic migraines, and her daughter Awa has been coughing for as long as she can remember. Ba works as an artisanal gold miner in Senegal's far east region of Ketegu, near the borders with Mali and Guinea. Like many women at the mines, she brings her daughter to work as she is still breastfeeding. If I don't come here to work, how will I survive? How will I make a living? But Ketegu's gold mines are no place for children. There are scores of open pits, no safety equipment, and panners say the dust they are being exposed to is toxic. I know we're exposed, starting with the water we drink. The well is contaminated. There's no clean water. When you drink this water, you know you'll get sick. Once the gold is collected, the miners treat it with mercury, a heavy metal that health experts say attacks the nervous, digestive, and immune systems. It can harm the lungs and kidneys and impair hearing, balance, vision, thinking, and breathing, and cause birth defects. In Kerugu, home to 98% of Senegal's gold mines, more than five tons of mercury are used annually. The chemical also harms nature. When the mercury is separated from the gold, it creates a vapor that rises into the atmosphere and clings to the leaves. Then with the rain or wind, it leaches into the ground and gets washed into the rivers, where the fish are exposed. This is why it is harmful. Gold mining in Ketegu is also causing soil degradation and deforestation. The artisan or small-scale miners work independently in the Ketegu region, where the vast majority of Senegal's mines are located. In 2020, Senegal's Ministry of Mines and Geology launched a project to install 400 mercury-free gold processing units in Ketegu. Everyone who comes to the center to process their gold will know that there will be no use of chemicals. We will also establish regulations that will allow us to sanction those who are treating their gold outside the center using chemicals. The industry is critical to the country's economy and the miners' ability to make a living. But construction has yet to start and will take at least two years. Until then, miners like Ba say they and their children will continue to be exposed to toxic elements. Annika Hammerschlag for VOA News, Ketegu, Senegal.